हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम so in this video i am going to show you step by step process how you can enroll windows 11 personal devices in microsoft intune so user can self enroll their personal windows pc in microsoft intune either by using intune company portal app or by using setting apps on windows 11 devices so before starting and showing you the process of enrollment i am assuming that all the prerequisites are already in place like we should have a microsoft intune subscription user account must be created and should have an intune license assigned to the user the third one is computer should be connected to the internet throughout the enrollment process so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos now let's see how we can enroll personal windows 11 devices in microsoft intune using setting app on windows 11 devices so to do this we have to go to the search option and here we have to type access work or school and then we have to open it under access work or school we have to select enroll only in device management and then we have to click on it and under set up a work or school account we have to provide the work account and then click on next and then provide the password now i have to approve the sign in request because i have enabled the multi factor authentication for that user now request is approved and we have to click on yes and now the device is enrolled in microsoft intune we have to click on got it now here we can see that the device is connected to demo lab mdm and we can click on info button to check more information now we can see that machine is getting some of the policies deployed from microsoft intune as well as microsoft intune extension application is also installed and user can also initiate a sync to get all the applications and policies as soon as possible Now let's check in the Intune portal to see if the machine is showing in Intune portal or not. So to do this, I'm going to open the Intune portal, and within that, I'm going to click on Devices and All Devices. And now we can see that this test PC one is showing in Intune portal, and the ownership type is personal because this is the BYOD kind of scenario. We and we can also check who is the primary user of that device. To do this, we have to click on machine and then and we can see that the primary user is chandramani pande and enroll by chandramani pande and this machine is compliant and the ownership type is personal and whatever policies and application we have deployed we can see the status under device configuration for configuration related policy like we have deployed four policies and we are getting all the status and if there is any application deployed from intune we are getting under managed app like we have deployed microsoft 365 app for windows and company portal now let's see how user can enroll their personal windows pc in microsoft intune using company portal application so there are two ways to install the company portal application first way is to use the microsoft store to install the company portal application and second way is to use the winget command to install the company portal application using command prompt so i'll show you both the ways and based on your choice you can use any one method so to install the company portal app using winget command we have to open the command prompt as an admin so let me open the command prompt as an admin run as administrator and then we have to type a command called get install and then we have to provide the package id of the company portal so the simple way to find the package identifier for company portal via microsoft intune is to go to the application and within application we have to click on all apps and we have to just click on add and here we can select 
Windows App Store New and click on Select. Here you can find the package identifier for the application. Let me search for company portal. This is the company portal and just click on it. And here we can see that this is a package identifier. Let me copy it. And in the command prompt, we have to paste it. And then hit enter. Now it's going to install the company portal app. Now we have to accept the agreement by just by typing Y and hit enter. Now started installing the company portal application. Now we can see that company portal app installed successfully and we can launch it. So this way we can install the company portal app using winget command. Now let me remove it and I'll show you how to install the company portal app using Microsoft Store. Now let me remove the company portal application first and to do this we have to just change instead of install we have to type remove and hit enter. Now we can see that using winget command we successfully remove the company portal application. Now let's see how we can install it using Microsoft Store. To, to do this we have to go to the Microsoft Store and then we have to search for company portal. Now just click on install. Now it's going to install the company portal application. Now the company portal application is successfully installed. Let me close it. And then we have to search for company portal and then we have to click on sign in here we have to provide the username and then password now i have to approve the request let me approve it it's now approved and then click on ok and now the device is added successfully and you have now access to your organization apps and service just click on done. Now we can see that the test PC1 device is successfully enrolled in Intune and we can access the corporate resources and we can also initiate a sync from company portal. So to do this, you can click on company portal on the taskbar and right click and then sync the device. Now sync is completed. Let me open Intune portal. To check whether the device is reporting in Intune portal or not. So to do this we have to go to the Intune portal and under devices we have to click on all devices and now we can see that the test PC one is enrolled in Intune and we can also verify that the ownership type is personal. Its primary user is Chandramani Pandey enrolled by Chandramani Pandey. This machine is compliant and we can also verify the same thing like device configuration we can see that the machine is getting all the configuration deployed from intune and under manage app we can see that whatever application is deployed on the device so that's all i want to show you with respect to enrollment of personal windows 11 devices in microsoft intune using multiple ways so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video